This is a tutorial that's going to present a specific strategy for drafting roads in AutoCAD. In this case, we've got an aerial, uh, and we are creating an existing conditions plan on top of that aerial. Now, it might seem like the obvious way to do this is simply to trace the curbs on one side of the road and then offset all of those lines a specific distance that's the width of the road so that we have the opposite curve on the other side. Doing this, oftentimes what happens is we get the line work not matching up when we offset. In this case, I've got this curve that's drafted on this left side of the road. What I'm going to do is offset that to 38 feet. Uh, that is the entire width of the road. I'm going to do O space for offset, type in 38 feet, and move these lines over. What you can see is on the opposite side of the road, uh, these two arcs actually don't match up. And we can go back and repair them, but there's a more uh, appropriate way to actually draft roads in AutoCAD. It mimics a method that a lot of engineers use when they're actually designing roadways themselves uh, and proposing them as part of their plans. Uh, it starts by drawing the center line of the road itself. Uh, we're actually going to draw the center line for the entire stretch of the road and then offset from that center line. We'll also use the fillet command. What that will do is uh, give us a very specific radius and we know that it comes off tangent of that line. Well, sometimes this is a guessing game. So what we're going to do is engage our fillet command with F space and then R space to set a specific radius. Now I'm just going to type in 50 initially. What we'll notice is that that radius is going to be too small. So we can delete out that piece. We'll say fillet and radius again. Might set it to 200. This is a little bit of a give and take. Uh, there are different strategies for trying to find that number quicker. I've already done this and I know that it's roughly 160 feet is going to be the radius of this. So F space, R space, and then 160 feet. And that gets us our center line. From there, what we're actually going to do is offset to get the two um, curbs at this point. Do O space. It's about a 38 foot road, so we're going to offset 19 feet on either side of the center line. Now, because we did the center line and we used the fillet command, we're assured that these lines are tangent, or the arc is tangent when coming off of this line, and that these two lines, when we offset, will meet up at one specific point at every juncture on either side. It gives us a much cleaner, more appropriate uh, way of drafting roads. Now, what you'll come to find out is that the standard road, when it has a curb, uh, that curb consists oftentimes of three parts. Uh, it consists of the most important part, which is the face of that curve, the vertical face uh, that sort of defines those lanes. It also has the back of curb and the edge of pavement, where the concrete curb meets up with the asphalt. For that reason, we'll take this face of curb right here, and we'll change it into three different lines. The back of curb will offset at 6 inches, or 0.5 feet. The edge of pavement will offset at 18 inches, or... 1.5 feet. And we'll do that for the entirety of our road system, offsetting these lines. Again, knowing that because we use the fillet command, our lines are going to match up. Now there are other instances where you might not have two straight segments. In this case, I have an arc, which is already set to I think 540 feet is the radius of this and this straight segment right here. I've already tested out. I know that the radius of this second curve is going to be around 500 feet. So we can take arcs that are set to a known radius and lines as well and actually fill it between those two. The same rules apply. We can offset the width of the road in either direction. We know that it's going to match up at these points. We have one vertice uh, for these two lines that they share. These are some of the basic rules for drafting roads in AutoCAD. It might take some time to practice the different fillet techniques to make sure that you're getting the right radius on these. There will be other instances where you might have a parking bay off to the side or different drives that intersect um, that you'll have to negotiate uh, when creating your line work for a base map.